Hey, 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 Superior Shave fans. This is uh, my aforementioned uh, 50 by 200 millimeter caudicle, which I have intentionally made have a convex surface like they do in Germany. And uh, I have been using this stone on almost every razor that we've sold since about uh, the middle of April. So about eight months now. And um, it was a pain in the ass to prepare it, but it has really converted me to the point where I don't care how special any of my rocks are, I would do this to any of them if it was easy to do. And I would just like to show you something I am proud of, that uh, the contact patch, it's not perfect. This is my first attempt at convexing, and uh, it's obviously something that is dutifully positioned to be a skill that the master grinder must learn, but uh, I would like to show you that the contact patch of the razor on this stone is always small and never in two places at once, and I've been able to maintain that for eight months and literally more than a thousand uses just by watching the stone and, uh, you know, making slurry in a little circle away from the away from the summit so to speak but check it out let's see here you see the little white patch I'm gonna go down the stone here let's make that a little bit deeper there okay. Is that better Let's see here. Can you? you see how that moves a little bit each way? Okay, let's go down. I would like the curve to be a little more broad, but when you're on the stone, you can feel that there's ever so slightly a slope going across the whole thing. Okay, let's see here. All right, now we're about halfway down the rock. Oh, look how that little contact patch moves around versus a straight line. Uh-huh. Let's flip that around to show you this side. Mm -hmm. Not bad, right? And just so you can see that it's not some sort of trickery. How about with an old codicle that's been made flat? What does it look like? It looks all as one, doesn't it? You see there? It doesn't work. It touches the whole thing at once. Whole thing at once. You see, there's no there's no gap. Whereas my little convexer, there's always a little patch. Now the better you can get at this, the more you can make that little contact patch like a centimeter or so the more rounded you can make it. But, uh, yeah, I, I would say that, uh, you know, around here is where the convex surface really works. And then it's just sort of, it's not dead flat on the top, but it's it's too close to flat, and it needs to have more of a, more of a curve. And, um, you know, I've enjoyed using this enough, and I've learned so much in uh, the immediacy of your control over where you're touching the edge that I will certainly try to find some other deep and broad codicles and make a really gentle and consistent slope. But, um, certainly changed my life, I could tell you that. Bye-bye.